Hello and welcome back here to the channel. It's Tuesday, Torque Drift Tuesday. We're coming back with Torque Drift here on the channel. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. So a lot of you guys have been asking where Torque Drift has been. Well, we're back on Torque Drift. Torque Drift can be making a comeback here on the channel. Something that um, I've been lacking recently. We're going to be bringing them back, bringing it back, doing some more stuff on it. So hopefully you guys are going to continue to watch the Torque Drift videos and we'll continue to make them. So we're just going to go into drifting. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the stuff that you probably read from in the title. And that is, should I make a Torque Drift team and make a team on Discord for Torque Drift players? Because I know a lot of people in the Discord are playing Torque Drift but are not on a set of Corsa or anything like that. So it gives them a chance to be part of a team as well. And that would be bringing out a Torque Drift team. So, is that something you would like to see here on the channel? Maybe on the game, bringing out a Torque Drift team, we're going up against an E30, and that thing is all like teal colors. So bringing out the Z. Kicking it in, fourth gear. Should have been a lot higher on the bank, but managing, oh, we came out of drift. Really long, dirty E-brake grab. We probably should have gone to fifth gear, but we're gonna try and manage to bring this run to a completion without totally losing it. So I could bring a Torque Drift team in there and do some tryouts and some open lobbies and things of that nature for Torque Drift team. That dude has my logo on his car. That is sick right there. Evil Rabbit big on the side. Let's go for the chase run. Definitely appreciate the support from you and rocking the Evil Rabbit logo. Definitely a crazy thing to see. Every time I hop into Torque Drift is my logo, of course, here in the game. And uh, it's real big on the side. Definitely appreciate that livery. It looks sweet, too. So we're going to go into fourth. We're probably going to run fourth gear behind him. Kick it in. That rotary banging in that E30. Really dirty E-brake grab, but we got it. Oh, that was a really fluid line for sure. Definitely, oh, oh, somebody who knows how to run that rotary E30. So definitely amazing to see a first person out there rocking the logo. We did take the loss, so we didn't get a good chase. I wasn't as high as I wanted to be, so we're going to see if we'll maybe get a rerun, get a rematch. Loving the new UI. We are going to get a rematch. Now we're going to definitely try and get up in higher gear and run that wall a little bit closer. Run it fifth gear. Initiate it in. Run it a little bit closer to the wall this time. Drag that all the way out. Oh, we came off the wall way too early. That is not going to be a better run. We did come off the wall way too early, unfortunately. But uh, it's okay. Not the best. If we wouldn't have come off the wall that early and uh, we stayed on a little bit longer, we would have had a much better lead run. But, you know, got to shake the bugs off. Haven't been on here a few minutes. So definitely need to uh, shake down. We did get a better lead. I think he uh, may have accidentally uh, went too hard in the paint and maybe hit the wall. We're going to find out in the chase. Definitely been missing playing Torque Drift. Got to do more with it. Got to get with the devs and see oh, uh, see about my Fanatec support and see if we can't get my club sport actually linked in on the game. Oh, I did not do a very solid chase at all. That's And that's what happened. Kind of took a rip into that wall. I don't know where he went. Try and throw in maybe get a couple more tandem points not going to be able to hope we may take a loss because we couldn't get a good lead or a good chase so definitely going to be getting with the devs and going to be trying to fully get my club sport hooked up because they're dd1 and i believe they're um csl elites work but unfortunately 
my close support doesn't link for some reason so we're gonna find that out figure that out once we can figure that out you know I'm gonna be rocking torque drift on the wheel as much as possible definitely love this game looks like we're going against uh, flip 5592 we're gonna go send it looks like he's in a uh, BRZ can't tell if that's the uh, grease monkey games BRZ or not but thousand horsepower to 998 the new UI definitely love how this looks and I think I need to do a livery refresh on this Z. So if you guys want to see maybe see a livery video, let me know it on the comment section down below. As well as let me know about what you guys think about the Torque Drift team. And what you think I should do with that. And if I should bring it out and maybe uh, throw on a full uh, team here on Torque Drift as well. We're going to try and stay on the wall a little bit longer. We stayed on a little bit longer, but we were not able to get all the way out there. Trying to reach out as far as I could, but unfortunately that did not, was not the best line either. Still better run than last time, but unfortunately wasn't well, the cleanest off the wall. So 108 to 48. So unfortunately we got the better of the lead. I say unfortunately. Fortunately for us, unfortunate for that man with the no bumper on the back. They're probably going too hard in the walls. You can see exactly what happens. Ooh, getting a little, uh, a little dodgy, a little squirrely. Kick it in. Throw it on the door and just not as high on the wall. Kind of like my first run out. Uh, okay. <laughs> that tire barrier seems to get a lot of people when they're trying to. As I say that, I go into the tire barrier myself. When they're trying to go really hard in that line and trying to extend that out as far as possible, they end up hitting that tire barrier. So unfortunately, my mouth keeps like popping in place. So we're going to have to put my mouse off the side so it doesn't keep popping in place I think we're gonna run one more here and then switch up tracks so we're gonna look for one more opponent and see what we got going on we're gonna to continue to use the Z because well it's kind of dominating the track right now and I'm kind of uh, excited with it So we're waiting for our next opponent. Looks like we're going against another 1,000 horsepower E30. Those star wheels, though. This must have been a Christmas star wheel that I didn't acquire. It looks like a Christmas star. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments because not sure on that one. This gear hit. Flick entry. Good initiation. Running the wall. Going to stretch this out this time. Yeah, we got it this time. Downshift into fourth. Keep that. Yep, this is the run that we needed. This is exactly the run we need to run at this track. Holding it out. Holding it nice and flowy. 130 lead? Definitely a solid lead. After not being on here for a while, I'll take that for sure. I'm going to go into the chase run. Grab my mouse over here. Go into the chase run and see if we can't do the same thing in the chase behind this rotary E30. I remember back when the game was in beta, I was rocking a rotary E30. If you guys remember that car, let me know down in the comments if you guys remember back in beta, that rotary E30 I was rocking, black and blue with a white livery. Oh, we kind of went hard on that dude's back end. A uh, little passing game? Something that we'd be doing with the team on a set of course, a little, uh, little passy pass game. So we're going to switch tracks, go to another track, and see what we can do in another track. 151 to that man's, I believe, 90-something? 90. 90. Yep. So we're going to go check for a new opponent, but we are going to go back to the actual menu. We're going to go change tracks and try and get some tandems in another track, see what we can come up with and what we're rocking in the multiplayer. So we got bridge, bridge, and we got FD. And then we have Plox test drive. So we're going to go to the bridge. And I think we're going to bring out a different car. The UI definitely very stunning. Torture did a great job with the UI. So I feel like we should bring out another one of our cars. And I think maybe 700 horsepower FC. Let's do it. 700 horsepower FC. See what we can do here on the bridge section with this car. Probably be one of the last runs here for today's episode, but Torque Drift making its comeback. That is a 900 horsepower wide body Supra. So, 
we're going to see what happens. So Torque Drift, making a comeback for you guys. Definitely been lacking on the Torque Drift content. Been working a lot with the team stuff and the Discord and the server and everything like that. Going to be bringing it back. And this is just one of many episodes to come. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll just put in the description box below. Let me know what type of videos here on Torque Drift you would like to see. And I will try and make that happen. Fourth gear, kick it in. Try. Oh, I'm trying to remember the track, and that is not what I want to do. Just trying to remember the course because I haven't been on this course in a very long while. Now I remember we got to go a little bit shallow through that first section. So unfortunately, not the cleanest lead at all. Got a little uh, missile, got some wheels poking through the fender. Gonna adjust the tune apparently on this car because it's a little different. But we still did get a good lead. So maybe he did the same thing I did and went just too hard into the wall. It's very possible. Who knows? We will find out sooner or later. Once we load in, there we go. That's super definitely an aggressive looking car with that body kit. Oh, we lost him on the start off rip. Oh, bogging down a little bit. Trying to kick in and get on chase. I think just the line was a little bit off. Oh, there's the correction. That's oh, what I was expecting to happen. Something for the lead run. And, uh, well, unfortunately, we, uh, we took the brunt of that one to the side driver's door of this FC. So I think that'll do it here for this episode here on Torch Drift. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll just find the description box below. If you guys want to keep seeing it, let me know down in the comments. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.